Hi all. Welcome to Saka Systems and Services. We wish you a very happy learning. Today, we will give an overview on what are different bodies available to cater different requirement of replication from success factors to SAP HCM and vice versa. A big thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. Based on the direction of integration, there are two sets of bodies. Data transfer to employee central. Data transfer from employee central. Data transfer to employee central. Below are the enhancements available. Body validity periods for data replication to EC. Body mapping of user ID, person ID, username and object ID. Body mapping of EC and ERP data for data replication to EC. Body change of mapping result for data replication to EC. Body extraction of additional employee related org. Management data. Validity period for data replication to EC. Body definition x 8 pow EMP validity tab. Classification of employee data and organizational data. Using this body you can classify the employee data and organizational data extracted from ERP system as relevant or not relevant for the replication to employee central. Based on specific time segments and country value. Complete exclusion. You can complete exclude employees from the data replication whose data is mastered in employee central. Called while replication of employee data, this body is called by the employee data attraction, a POW EMPL extraction when it extracts employee data from ERP systems. The program checks the validity period from data extraction that is defined in body implementation and removes the data from extraction which are outside these periods. Mapping of user ID, person ID, username and object ID. You can use this body x 8 pow emp uc prn unm map for both employee data and organizational data integration types. For employee data integration type, the body is called when you have selected the mapping mode for one of these fields in employee central instance settings. O user ID mapping. O user name mapping. O person ID mapping. For the organizational data integration type. You can use this body if you have specific requirements regarding the mapping of organizational object IDs to the external code field of employee central entities. Mapping of EC and ERP data for data replication to EC. You use this BIDL to map data that is maintained in the ERP system to fields from employee central. You use it if you cannot map an employee central field one to one to an ERP info type and subtype field or if you want to extract data from sources other than info type or subtype fields. The BIDL is called when you have mapped fields that are used in data transfer from ERP to employee central in the VC8 POW map OM or VC8 POW map view cluster and have selected the mapping mode. BIDL mapping. The get fields value body method is called by the following data extraction programs. Employee data extraction. Pass information to this program using the optional parameter for PRNR. Organizational data extraction. Pass information to this program using the optional parameters for O type and for object. Change of mapping result for data replication to EC. The body definition name is x 8 pow ERP EMP data modify. This business add-in is used in the integration add-on for enterprise resource planning and success factors employee central when extracting data from the ERP system and replicating it to employee central. You use this BIDL to further process the result of mapping ERP fields to employee central fields. 
The mapping result is stored in an internal table. You can change the content of this table using this BADL. The call of this BADL is independent of the mapping mode you have selected in the primary mapping view of the VC8 PAO map OM or VC8 PAO map view cluster. Validity period for data replication to EC. The body definition name is X8 PAO ERP MNGR TYP PARTA. This business add-in is used in the integration add-on for enterprise resource planning and success factors employee central when extracting employee master data from the ERP system. Replicating it to EC you can use it if you have an on-premise ERP system as well as success factors employee central in place which you use in a side-by-side -side scenario. You use this BADL to retrieve the content for additional employee-related fields from ERP organizational management, such as the functional area or job family, which you want to map to custom string fields in Employee Central. The BADL is called when you have selected the Use Buddy Implementation checkbox in the VECPAOMNGRTYPE customizing view. The BADL uses the Get GetEMPPDDATA method. Data transfer from Employee Central SAP has delivered two badges for the same, Enhancements for Adapting Employee Organizational Assignment Enhancement for Adapting Employee Organizational Assignment Request Data transfer to Employee Central This business add-in, EXSFIOMADAPTEEORGASSGNMNT is used in the integration add-on for ERP and SAP success factors Employee Central when extracting organizational data from Employee Centra and replicating it to the Enterprise Resource Planning ERP, system. You can use this BADL to adapt the standard organizational assignments, which are written to the ERP system when you replicate organizational assignments from Employee Central, to suit your specific requirements. You can, for example, Create non-standard relations or relations to non-standard objects. The BADL uses the following methods. ADAPTSTOOBJECTREL-ATIONCREATEOBJECTREL-ATIONFILTEROSREL-ATIONNRICHPTOSREL-ATION -E There is no standard implementation for this BADL. Enhancements for Adapting Employee Organizational Assignment Request This business add-in, EXSFIOMADAPTORGASSREQ, is used in the integration add-on for ERP and SAP Success Factors Employee Central when extracting organizational data from Employee Central and replicating it to the Enterprise Resource Planning ERP, system. You can use this BADL to adapt the standard organizational assignment requests used to replicate organizational assignments from Employee Central before they are processed in the ERP system. You can, for example, dynamically change or delete organizational assignments in the request to create different organizational assignments or no assignments at all. The BADL uses the ADAPTREQUESTDETAILS method. There is no standard implementation for this BADL. Example, you could use this BADL to define a customer-specific processing of employee manager assignments contained in the replication request if the assigned managers don't exist in the specific ERP system. Let's say you have enabled the middleware to replicate information about associated employees who are stored in the employee's job information in Employee Central. Associated employees also include the employee's manager. This means that by default, the ERP system uses this information to filter out manager assignments. If the assigned managers don't exist in the ERP system, for example, because they are located in a different country than the employee and this country's data isn't replicated to ERP. If you don't want to just remove these manager assignments, but handle them in a specific way, you can do so using this buddy. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this exploration into SAP Success Factors integration enhancements using bad is, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. Until next time, happy exploring!